So, uh, we looked at the basic definition of symmetry in the last video and we now continue that definition, use that definition for the classification of lattices. So, let us recap, we said that all lattice translations or translational symmetry form a group called translational group, all non-translational or point symmetry like rotations and reflections rotations, reflections form a group called point group and finally, we define group of all symmetry operations including translational and point symmetry which was called a space group. Now, lattices are classified on the basis of the point group and the space group. So, let us look at that classification. So, let us begin with lattice. And let us try to look at what kind of point symmetries the lattice is having. So, if we look at the point symmetries of the lattice, we will find that lattices, although they can have different a, b, c, alpha, beta, gamma, finally, they can have only one of the seven different kinds of point group or seven different kinds of rotational and reflection symmetry. So, seven different point groups or in other words seven different rotational reflection symmetries. These are what we call as seven crystal systems. So, seven crystal systems are nothing but seven different point symmetry which a lattice can have. This is a very important statement we are making here. Similarly, if you look at the space symmetry, the complete symmetry of the lattice including the translations, then you will find that there are 14 different space groups. space groups, which means fourteen different kinds of complete symmetry. By complete symmetry, we have already defined this including translations and rotations, point symmetry as well as translations. So, these 14 different space groups are what are called 14 Bravais lattices. So, 14 Bravais lattices are nothing but 14 different space groups in which a lattice can be classified. So, this is our symmetry definition of these two important concepts. So, they do not, we have made all this effort for defining symmetry probably to present this slide that seven crystal systems and 14 Bravais lattices are not different kinds of unit cells which a lattice can have, but different kinds of 
point symmetry and space symmetry which a lattice can have. So, let us look at the 7 crystal system further in terms of symmetry. We have already met this 7 crystal system and that time we had not developed the concept of symmetry. So, we only talked about the unit cell shape, but now we will look at uh, the symmetry. So, let us let us write one by one. So, if it has a one fold axis means no special symmetry, one fold symmetry, no special symmetry. Then the crystal system that is the least symmetric crystal system and that is what is called triclinic. If it has a single a single two fold single two fold axis, then the crystal system is called monoclinic. If it has a single three fold, then the system is called trigonal. or rhombohedral. If it has a six fold axis shown by a little hexagon. then this will be called a hexagonal crystal system. If we have three two fold axis, three mutually orthogonal two fold axis. then it is called orthorhombic belongs to the orthorhombic class. If it has a single four fold then we call it a tetragonal. tetragonal crystal system and finally, the most symmetric one is a cubic one and cubic is characterized by a symmetry sorry a 4 three fold.
four, three, four lakh rupees. Now, cubic one usually thinks in terms of four, four lakhs, but cu uh, cubic crystal also have three, four lakhs, and it's the three fold which has been taken as the characteristic symmetry. This may surprise some of you. So, we will look at uh, the four, three fold or the cubic symmetry in a little bit more detail. So, let us look at the symmetry of the cube. So, cube or uh, one very obvious symmetry of the cube is of course, the four fold axis passing through the center and normal to its faces. There will be three such four fold. Four fold axis. Then, if you look at the body diagonal of the cube, so let me try to draw the body diagonal and think of a rotation about the body diagonal, and this is where a model will help. If you have a model of a cube, it will be nice to stand it on the body diagonal and try to rotate it. If you do not have, you can always make a simple paper model of the cube, not very difficult to make. So, this axis, this body diagonal is a three fold axis of the cube. You can appreciate that three fold by looking at this corner where this body diagonal is emerging, and if you see at that corner, three faces are meeting these three faces are the top face, the front face and the right face. And if I rotate about this axis, if I rotate about this axis, I will interchange the top face to the uh, front face, the front face to the right face and right face back to the top face. So, the cube will come into self coincidence by rotation about this axis. And obviously, since there are three faces in one complete rotation, the self coincidence will come three times. So, this is a three fold axis of the cube. And since there are four body diagonals, I am not drawing all of them here also, I had not drawn the others. Uh, so, as not to clutter my diagram, but you can draw it in your notebook. So, there are four such three fold axes. Four three fold axis, three four fold axis. So, the cube also has two fold axis. These are if you take any edge, if you take any edge and the center of that edge and you take an opposite edge and let an axis let an axis pass through I am drawing the axis in red. So, let me use the red. So, this will be you can rotate a cube by 180 degree to bring into self coincidence and we are used to parallel faces for defining this uh, two fold. There are 12 edges in the cube. So, that will give you six such two fold axis. You can see cube is highly symmetric sorry um, six two fold axis. Six two fold axes. Then cube has mirrors. Some of them not very difficult to see. So, for example, we see that we have a horizontal mirror. If I draw this plane, it 
the top and bottom half will reflect into each other. We will have a mirror plane. Also, so th there will be three such mirror plane. And uh, you can of course, draw another diagonal mirror. So, if I look at this plane, so this is also a mirror, you will have 6 such mirrors, so 9 mirror planes. So, you can see the cube has a lot of symmetry 3 fold, 4 fold, 2 fold and these mirror planes and a cubic crystal system will have many of these symmetry, but it is the it is the 4 3 fold axes is what it has been taken as the defining symmetry of cubic crystal system. So, we will continue our discussion on the classification of the lattices. We have already shown in this video that it is the symmetry and not the unit cell shape and how different symmetries define different crystal system. We have mainly focused on the crystal system classification here, which is based on the point group symmetry. In the next video, we will take up uh, the classification of Bravais lattices and some of our earlier problems that why cubic C was absent, but face centered cubic was present. So, we will look that up in the next video.